Today's video concentrates on the derivation of the midpoint formula guided by the question, where is the treasure? So again, this is suggesting that probably we're going to have some treasure hunting. Our primary goals, of course, would be to derive the midpoint formula and apply the midpoint formula. To start with, let's take a look at this very appropriate quotations which would guide us probably in our life and it has something to do with midpoints take a look at too little and too much take everything in moderation and another moderation is not just finding the midpoint between two opposing poles and opportunistically planting yourself there you've got to do something again a food for thought for everyone. So we start with the question, where is the treasure? The treasure is buried halfway between the slides and the elephant's statue. So in this coordinate plane, you can see there the location of the slide as well as the location of the elephant's statue. Since we are talking about the word halfway. Let's take the whole distance between the two, slide to elephant. And we have their counting, we get 16. So if the whole distance is 16 and we have the, the word halfway, then we can say the treasure would then be found 8 units to the right of the slide and 8 units also to the left of the elephant. That's the meaning of halfway. There. So the location of the treasure, we have found it on that location. Let's take a look at the coordinates of the distinct points. The slide is at 1, 3. The stage of the elephant is at 17, 3. And the location of the treasure is at 9, 3. What can we say about the y-coordinates of the three points? You have 3, 3, and 3. All the y-coordinates are equal. But what about the x-coordinates? How do we determine the x-coordinates of the treasure? Since we have the first one is 1, and you have here the stage who has 17, and you have here the x-coordinate of the treasure is 9. Probably we can see something. And that would be 1 plus 17 divided by 2 is equal to 9. These are the x-coordinates of the two endpoints. Or dividing it by 2 is equal to 9. Again, clue word is halfway. Next, the treasure is buried halfway between the slide and the tent. So again, let us take a look at the whole distance from the distance to the tent, and that would be by counting we got six units. So if the whole distance is six units and we are talking about halfway, then the treasure is found three units above the slide and three units below the tent. And there is the treasure. Coordinates of the slide again is 1, 3. The tent is 1, 9. And the treasure location is at 1, 6. So what can we say about the x coordinates of the three points? 1, 1, and 1. They're all equal because we did not move sideways. The motion is only going upwards. What about the relation existing among the y-coordinates of the three points? You have a 9, a 6, and a 3. So, how will you get the y-coordinates of the treasurer? Take a look at the y's. You have a 9 for the two endpoints, and you have a 3. And you have here the location of the, the treasure is 6. So probably we can say 3 plus 9 
then the sum we're going to divide it by 2 we are arriving at 6 what about this the treasure is buried halfway between the elephant statue and the tent. That would mean to say we have the diagonal from the tent to the elephant statue. We cannot exactly count the distance. So where are we going to place the treasure or where is the treasure located? So it is important that at this point, we're going to derive how to determine the coordinates of the midpoint, which is actually another word for halfway. So let's consider. Let's have here two points with the set of coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 in general. These x's and y's may be any numeral. And the question is, where is the midpoint? What is the set of coordinates for the midpoint? Let us recall what we did in the treasure hunt. How do you determine the x coordinate of the treasure? What we did was to get the x-coordinate of the first endpoint and the x-coordinate of the second endpoint. We added them, we divided by 2, and we got the x-coordinate. Let us try that also here. So in general, we can say that the coordinate of the first point is x sub 1 and the other x-coordinate is x sub 2. We add them together and we divide it by 2. That's in general. What then about the y? What about the y? What are we going to do? Let us also recall what we did in the previous we're in. We have here, how will you get the y coordinate of the treasure? And this is what was done. We took the, co the y coordinate of the first point and the y coordinate of the second point and we added, divided by 2, we got 6. Let's also apply that. So that, you now have here y sub 1 plus y sub 2. And we divide that by 2. That is now the set of coordinates for the midpoint. So that's it. We have derived the midpoint formula. The midpoint formula of two points having the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, is the point M found by the following formula. The midpoint has the set of coordinates, the sum of the x coordinates divided by 2, the sum of y coordinates divided by 2. So, going back to the problem a while back, the treasure is buried halfway between the tent and the elephant statue. Let's apply the formula for the midpoint, taking a look at the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. So substituting the x and the y values, you have x sub 1, y sub 1, that is x sub 1 is 1, y sub 1 is 9, x sub 2 is 17, y sub 2 is 3. Correctly substituting that, you have y plus 17, that would be the excess, divided by 2. And the y's, you have 9 and 3. Add together, you get 12, and you divide that by 2. So that we then have simplified, 1 plus 17 is 8. When you divide that by 2, you get 6. And you have 9 plus 3 is 12. When you divide that, it is 6. So therefore, we can now clearly say that the treasure is located on that point 9, 6. And we can say halfway from the tent and halfway from the elephant statue, the treasure is buried with 
the set of coordinates 9, 6. Let us apply. Let us also take the midpoint of segment AB. So we have here one point A on the first quadrant and one point B on the third quadrant. What is the first that we are supposed to do? Identify the set of coordinates. Point A, since it is in the first quadrant, has positive, positive, positive 2, and positive 5. Point B has the set of coordinates, since in the third quadrant, both coordinates would be negative. Thus, we have a negative 3, negative 1. Then, since we have correctly identified the coordinates, all we have to do is to do substitution in the formula. You have x sub a, considering that we have point a here. I did not anymore say x sub 1, x sub 2, but we made use of the name of the point. x sub a is 2. Then you have x sub b is negative 3. Sum divided by 2. Then the y coordinates. The first y coordinate is 5. And the second y-coordinate is negative 1. Let us simplify that. Simplifying your 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 1 divided by 2. And 5 plus a negative 1 is 4 divided by 2. Thus, we can say that the midpoint will be located at negative 1 half 2 after simplification. So, locating that. That is now the midpoint of segment AB with the set of coordinates negative one half two. Thus, we have derived the midpoint formula as well as we have applied it. Again, if there is a certain topic you want me to discuss, feel free to write it in the comment sections below.